Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be telling you why the gold camo grind is out of this world and just insanely, insanely difficult. So I've been playing the game every single day since it came out. I've not really attempted to go for a gold weapon, but I've actually got the gold MP7 on accident. Um, apart from the kills and no attachments, I realised I was really close, so I got the kills and no attachments and got the gold weapon. As you can see in the little preview little square, it's like a full gold thing. And I thought the MP7 looked pretty decent in gold. Not many people have gold weapons in this game. For the simple reason, the grind to get a gold gun is absolutely insane. You used to be able to get a gold gun in an hour, a couple of hours, depending on your skill level. Back in the older games, in this game, it takes hours upon hours upon hours just to get one single gun gold. And I was super disappointed. I got the gold camo, I put it on, and this is what it looks like. This is what it looks like, there's hardly any gold on the weapon. Just little gold lines and squiggles and I was like, what? This camo looks absolutely awful. And then we've got the platinum camo, which in my opinion looks 10 times worse. This is the equivalent to diamond camo. I mean, come on. Why would you change diamond camo for the platinum camo? And Damascus, which is this, as you can see, there's not a lot of detail on this. I mean, obviously, this is only the MP7. Obviously, different guns do vary, I will admit, and be biased towards the cameras and the MP7. That looks absolutely awful as well, taking it away from Dark Matter. I mean, the Black Ops 3 Dark Matter was the best. The Black Ops 4 Dark Matter was pretty insane as well. And it just sort of takes the grind factor out of the game for me. So we are going to put the gold camo on, um, and we're going to play a game with it just to see what it looks like in-game. Um, but for me, it is such a huge, huge, huge disappointment. Um, the grind, I don't even want to grind, I've grinded for Dark Matter cameras in every single game since it's been a thing. Uh, since Diamond Camo has been a thing back in Black Ops 2. I mean, Black Ops 2 Diamond was insane. But we're going to hop straight into a game and we'll probably discuss this even further. Make sure you guys are hitting that subscribe button as well. Let's freaking go. Okay, we're on a bit of Shoot House 24 7. Probably my favourite game mode right now. Oh, wow. <laughs> and, um,. Just for the simple reason, it's super hectic, and that guy's going to get absolutely destroyed. Super hectic, well, not super hectic, but, you know, it's a little bit more fast-paced compared to the other game modes in this game, as, obviously, this is a slow game. Um, so, I, you know, I prefer playing this, you know. You don't get penalised for being as aggressive as you would in the other maps. Especially, I mean, I've been playing Grand War a lot recently, actually, as well. I'm trying to play a bit aggressive on the bigger maps. Oh, my God, I'm going to die. Um, I'm still out of the way there. No point in me even trying to kill them, guys. Um, but he seemed to get penalised ever, ever so heavy in that game mode. Oh, look at this guy with a shotgun. I knew there was a shotgun kid there, but I didn't think he'd still be there watching the corner. Um, he got penalised extremely, extremely heavy. I mean, I wanted to play the new Grandma map, and I really, really liked it um, the first time I played it. But I was sniping the first time I played it, and the second time I played it, I was trying to play a little bit. This guy's got C4 as well. I was trying to play a little bit uh, aggressive with the MP7 and the other 4A1. And I was getting absolutely destroyed, and it was definitely not an enjoyable experience. Um, but as you can see, this is the gold uh, weapon camo, you know, what we actually are here for. I mean, if I try and give you a decent visual of it up close like that. It, it does look okay, it looks nice, don't get me wrong, especially in the sunlight. It does, you know, sort of bounce off the sunlight. Um, but for the grind, what it is, I just don't like it at all. Um, it's just not worth it whatsoever. I mean, what is, I mean... <laughs> The Damascus camo, it sounds cool, Damascus, oh my god, I like Damascus, it sounds absolutely insane. But it just doesn't seem to live up to the expectations, and I feel like it's, I feel like this game, it's a good game, by all means, it's a good game, and it just doesn't, I think, this Black Ops 4 was way better than this game, and I think the creditability and obviously the player base that would return to this game, for the simple fact, it was named Modern Warfare, oh wow, it was named Modern Warfare, and I think that's a lot of why a lot of people did return to the series, but... Black Ops 4 was way better than this. The grind factor in that game was insane. Uh, I miss Prestige in so, so much. Honestly, more than anything. I did, I, you know, I felt like there was a guy there, but I just didn't see him. It just didn't click in my head. Uh, the grind factor was just way more fun on that game. And I don't know, this game, this game's good, but it's one of them. I'm iffy. I'm really iffy about it, to be fair. Um, but I mean, we'll see. I think there's a guy in this corner. Oh no, he's up on top of the crate, and there was a guy to my right as well. Um, I probably, I want to see him going to grind for Damascus, but I don't, I can't see myself doing it. I really can't. Oh man, I'm going to get shot in the, where was I getting shot from then? Oh, there was a guy behind the car. Did not see him. Um, but yeah, I can't see myself grinding for Damascus. Maybe if I get super bored later on in the year, um, and I'm dying over and over again. I'll probably go for it, but... 
right now it's definitely not on the cards I mean not even for platinum um, it looks awful awful I mean so awful as well like not even a little bit awful not even a bit like not like mm, it's alright but no it looks disgusting I've not come across anyone with platinum or even Damascus for that matter I don't think anyone in the game has Damascus I'm, I'm sure of it oh my god I'm dead um, of the how then Jesus Christ how because um, that is one hell of a grind it takes some serious hours I think someone was talking about it takes about roughly um, 16 hours that kid's gone absolutely destroyed 16 hours per uh, weapon for gold camo um, to me that seemed a bit seemed a little bit like a little bit of an exaggeration but to be fair you do have to play with the gun a lot you have to literally um, actually have to get kills with the weapon to level the weapon up to even unlock the uh, camo challenges so say the skull challenge I think you have to level the weapon up to pretty much max rank so that in itself is taking time away from it whereas before you just got the gun and you were straight on grinding the camos but that's probably where a lot of the time comes from actually now think, now think about it it probably makes that um, statement a little bit more realistic but it's but why is it like that I don't know it's just it, there's there's a lengthy grind and then there's a, making it too long and people don't want to do it. I think that's what that's that's this is the way it's heading. Obviously, the feeling would be so satisfaction, so satisfying even. Um, wow, well, okay. Um, if we, you know, if you get to that point, if I get to that point, wh whoever it may be, if it's yourself, um, it will be a great feeling knowing you've achieved that grind. But the hours and hours upon hours you're gonna have to put in is gonna be insane. And that's when it's the question: Is it is it actually worth it? Which it might end up being. Possibly, I'm gonna die here. Yeah, I know I am. Oh wow! He's just sitting in the corner. I just didn't see him. Just walked straight past him. Um. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna be worth it. Definitely not. But we'll see. They might have actually update it, and I hope they do. Make a moving camo or something. Oh man, I thought that was a I thought that was an enemy claim that I just literally walked into. Um, I hope we do make a change to that. Oh wow, that kid's got destroyed. Let's guys here. That kid's still there. Wow. Let's connect. Collect some tags. Oh wow, I'm dead. Oh man. Jeez. Oh man, I got a fury kill. Like that. I've been after a fury kill for so long. Jesus, that was a. I did not expect that triple kill. I didn't even realize there was three people there. Crazy. It's definitely the highlight. Um, but yeah, it's just an awful, awful grind. And not worth it. Not worth it. I mean, look at this. Oh, we actually got to play the game as well. That triple kill. So I got one there. Was it just one and two? Oh, wait, no, I got one here. The one that. Oh, yeah, there was three right there. Jesus. Okay, guys. I am going to have to end the video here. Pretty decent game on Shoot House, just explaining the camo grind and how I, my, my personal opinion is on it. But uh, let me know what you guys think of it down in the comments below and if you guys are grinding for Damascus Platinum or even just a gold camo on your favourite weapon. Let me know how you're finding it. Um, I imagine it's pretty, pretty grueling. Um, but anyway guys, if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you do go ahead and hit that subscribe button for more daily Call of Duty content just like this one. And be sure to leave a like as well, it does mean a lot to me. But thank you guys ever so much for watching. I hope to catch you guys in the next one. Peace.